Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here with a special news alert for the InfoWars Nightly News. Now, as you know tonight, we've already been covering the continued march towards disarmament of the people of the United States. It's already happened in most parts of the world. That's why I have this globe here. I'm going to go over this here in a moment. But the reason I felt like I needed to tape this special presentation tonight is because even I have been conditioned to accept this tyranny incrementally. America would have never admitted 10 years ago it was being spied on by the NSA. Now everybody knows you're being spied on illegally. But we accept it because we were slowly eased into it. We have to get upset. We have to get motivated. We have to be defiant of tyranny and say, we're not turning in our firearms from our cold, dead hands. From my cold, dead hands. To quote the late, great Charlton Heston who was a guest on this program, in his fight for the Second Amendment. We have to understand when that right falls, everything else falls. They're telling you your kids don't belong to you. They're, they're telling you they're going to come with forced inoculations for you and your family. Uh, they're telling you that they're going to open the borders up outside of law, that, that Obama's going to appoint the new Supreme Court justice outside of congressional confirmation. Unprecedented things are happening. This is the season of the tyrant's attempt to keep power. Because the truth is, humanity's waking up, so they're moving in to take the guns. Now, I'm going to get to this news here in a moment, but the United Nations, in 2000, in July 7th, put out their first draft of the Small Arm Disarmament Global Treaty. And I've covered it many times. And in the draft summation, they said, because civilian ownership of firearms threatens the legitimate power monopoly of the state. How is a power monopoly of the state a good thing? There's a name for that. Oligarchy, dictatorship, tyranny, despotism, North Korea, Nazi Germany. And you look at images of North Korea and that hell, and you notice that only the government has the guns. It boils down to that. It's like not even trusting airline pilots to have a gun in the cockpit, which they had before 9-11. That was taken away from them six months before. You trust them to fly this giant missile, this, this giant weapon, but you don't trust them to have a gun. We only trust special government agents, specially trained, against the Constitution and Bill of Rights to have guns. That's where this is moving. Now, behind me is a Daily Caller article, The Gun Grabbers Are Coming, Lexington, Massachusetts Now Faces Semi-Automatic Gun Confiscation. And we're going to roll some footage of a few years ago at a reenactment at Lexington, where we shot footage right on the very green where it happened, where the British Redcoats said, turn in your guns, you scum, or we're going to kill you. And then they aimed and fired first, and that was the shot heard around the world. In the very city, in the very colony, now a state, where in 1775 they came to confiscate the guns, the people refused. The town of Lexington, the people themselves, are represented by 200 town meeting members. People don't vote directly there. It still goes back to the colonial times. And they claim to represent their constituents, and they say they have the votes, like Highland Park, Illinois, to ban all semi-automatic firearms, and they're looking to do it, and then they will come, and they will confiscate them. That's in Article 34 of their annual town meeting beginning March 21st, about a month out. And they think they have the votes to do it. Now, let's move to something bigger than Lexington, or an area in Illinois like we just mentioned. This is from Bloomberg a few years ago, and this is the model they tested in California now being launched by Obama through executive order nationwide. California seizes guns as owners lose right to keep arms. And they're claiming it's if your neighbor says they thought you were scary, or a family member says he never threatened me or she never threatened me, but I'd like their guns taken. Or you were PTSD in the army, no criminal record, they make the determination outside of law to come take your firearms. This is what they do. And it's similar to what they've done in areas like New York City, D.C., and Chicago. Chicago, by the way, has the highest crime rate in the world and only goes up. In fact, it's double this year what it was last year. We can show you those articles. And so this stealth program has now launched nationwide this year, 2016, with Health and Human Services, no law, they just said, here's our policy. 
you are, as doctors, are going to question people's children about firearms. You're going to question adults about it. And if someone has a heart problem, they shouldn't be able to own a gun. They give them a long list. If, if, if people have kids, they shouldn't be able to have a gun. And you are to report this to DHS. And then if a doctor says, all these Politico doctors, all these Commissar doctors, all these doctors trained in the socialist medical schools now, feel like, for any reason, you shouldn't have a gun. No judge, no jury, no nothing. Your firearms are taken. The old Soviet Union used the medical system to oppress the people. So did Nazi Germany. So what I'm here to announce to you is, out of 170 plus nations around the world, there's only about 11 that have some type of private gun ownership. And it's places like Switzerland in Europe that has the lowest crime rate in the world. And there are limited rights in a few other countries. Now, of course, if you look at the Islamic invaders that have come into Europe, they go out in the street corners in major cities in Germany and other countries and shoot guns in the air, which are totally illegal. They have AK-47s to attack people on trains and to attack theaters. They're brought in. That's okay. And if you criticize them, Merkel has you arrested. They're not worried about real threats, but here in the United States and Canada, we're some of the few Western countries that still have the right to keep and bear arms. And of course, in other countries, people are disarmed because they never got out from under colonialism. It was the Magna Carta in England, starting in 1215, where the people fought back and got a basic beginning of a system of due process that became the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights. And they're not just shredding the Second Amendment. They're taking the First, they're coming after the Fifth, the Ninth, the Tenth, they're coming after the Fourth with all the spying. Because these protections that only pointed out God-given rights we already had stand in the way of tyranny. And now we have a TPP, Trans-Pacific Partnership, between the Americas and the Pacific nations that is a union and was secretly ratified, but they admit is world government. And then we have a European Union and a transatlantic agreement already signed that is merging our laws and systems with Europe. The whole world is now merging into a three-part system, a trilateral system, and we have to get in line now with these treaties, like the Small Arms Treaty, and take the American people's guns. Gun confiscation has already begun. It's already happened in many cities. They want to sit there and deny it's happening. We're winning the fight for the hearts and minds when it comes to pro-life and the Second Amendment. But when it comes to on the ground, the tyrants are just seizing control and moving forward with tyranny. You are the Paul Revere's of your age. You are the Paul Revere's in your town, in your city. You are the Paul Revere's in other nations around the world. It is up to you to realize the technocracy that's been established, that global corporations have made themselves above the law. They play the nation states off against each other. They're collapsing the nation states. And out of the ashes of that collapse, they're calling for a new corporate planetary government endorsed by the Pope, borderless, with multinationals above the law, tax exempt, with diplomatic immunity. That's the new world order. I'm going to throw it back to InfoWars Nightly News and your host this evening. And then we are going to, of course, tomorrow night be covering the Republican debate ahead of Super Tuesday. We're also going to have some big Donald Trump news as well uh, coming up at InfoWars.com. Now back to InfoWars Nightly News. <laughs>
that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the Info War to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv.